Hello everyone. We're going to start a new lesson today, Laws of Motion. And we will be studying about contact and non-contact forces. Firstly, let us understand what is force. Probably, I think you know what is force, right? It is a quantitative description of a physical interaction, contact, that causes a change in an object's motion, size, or shape. For example, a push or a pull, right, can change motion, size, or a shape. And when an elastic material is compressed, right, the shape changes. And a force can change the shape of an object. CGS unit of force. The CGS unit of force is dyne. It is specified in the CGS that is centimeter gram second system of units and one dyne is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 Newton. SI unit of force. Newton is the international system of unit that is SI derived unit of force. Force is equal to kilogram into meter per second square, which is equal to kilogram meter per second square. And the SI unit is termed as Newton or kilogram meter per second square. Now, what are different kinds of forces? The first one, contact forces. And the second is non-contact forces. We'll be studying about this. Contact force. Let us study about contact force first. It is a force that requires contact to occur, interaction to occur. For example, these are some of the examples. Number one, frictional force. The second one is normal reaction force. And the third is force of tension exerted by a string. And the fourth example is force exerted during collision. So these are the examples of contact forces. Let's see the first one, frictional force. You can see on your screen a table and a book. Now when we push this book one side of the table, okay, when the book is pushed towards one side of the table like you can see on the screen, what happens? There is another force that is acting against it, right? And which is that force? This force which is acting against is known as force of friction. So this friction that is acting opposite to the motion of the body is known as frictional force or force of friction. Let's see the second normal reaction force suppose you're holding a stone on your hand on your palm the stone exerts a force downwards on the palm that is equal to its weight it is exerting force downwards okay which is equal to the weight of the stone you have to exert a reaction force upwards to keep the stone in position right you have to keep a reaction force upwards so that the stone does not fall down. The force applied by the surface against the object that prevents it from sinking or falling is known as normal reaction force. I hope you understand this. And because of this reaction force, we feel our weight. Let's see the third example of contact force force of tension exerted by a string let's say there's a rigid support and we hook a spring over there and when we put weights what happens to the spring right there's a tension developed in the string like you can see and when we put weight the weight of the body pull the string downwards right like you can see on the left hand side of the screen this force that is developed in the string is termed as tension or the force of tension.
Let us understand about the fourth example of contact force. Force exerted during collision. When two objects collide, what happens? It pushes each other, right? When two bodies collide, they push each other. Like you can see here, when body B collides with moving body A, it exerts a force FAB on body A, which is called the force of action. And at the same time, body A also exerts an equal and opposite force of reaction, right? That will term as force BA on body B. As a result of these forces, the two bodies move apart after the collision. I hope you understand this illustration. Now let us learn about non-contact force. These are forces when objects do not have physical contact between them or when a force is applied without any interaction. There is no contact between the objects. That is when it is called as non-contact force. Let's see the examples. The first one is a gravitational force. The second is electrostatic force. And the third one is magnetic force. So we'll understand about it a little. Let's see the first one, gravitational force. All the objects in this universe, right? Let's understand what is gravitational force. The force of attraction between all masses in the universe is called gravitational force. I hope you understand this. Let us understand it more. The force on a body because of Earth's attraction is called as force of gravity or the weight of the body. Like you can see the orange which is attracted by the gravitation force and this force causes the motion in the body towards earth that is downwards and a coin when it is thrown up it falls down this force causes the motion in the body towards the earth downwards so that is what gravitational force is let's see the second one electrostatic force two unlike charges attract each other like you can see two unlike charges what happens it attracts each other right you have learned this from your elementary classes and two like charges what happens it repels you can see two like charges here positive charge it will repel and even two negative charges will repel Right? I hope you understand this. And so the electrostatic forces are attractive or it can be repulsive forces between particles that are caused by their electrical charges. And this force is also called as Coulomb force or Coulomb interaction. It is named after the French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb who described the force in 1795. Let's see the third non-contact force, that is magnetic force. Two unlike magnetic poles will attract. Two unlike poles, north and south. What will happen to these? They will attract each other. Unlike magnetic poles, attract. And two like magnetic poles will repel. North pole and north pole of the magnet will repel. Likewise, the south pole and the south pole of the magnet also will repel. Now, technically, we can define a magnetic force as a mechanical force exerted from a magnetic field to a magnetic pole that is placed within that particular magnetic field. And we can also say that this is a force that exists between two magnets caused by the interaction of their magnetic fields. And this force causes the magnets to either attract or repel each other. 
let's see general character of non contact force the first general character the gravitational force is always of attractive nature okay it always attracts towards the earth like you can see an example on the right hand side of the screen when any object is dropped what happens it falls towards the earth the second character is electrostatic force and magnetic force can either be attractive or repulsive it can either be attractive right or it can be repulsive the third general character of non contact forces the magnitude is inversely proportional to the square of distance of separation that means it's opposite what does that mean it means that the magnitude will decrease when there is increase in separation and the magnitude will increase when there is decrease in separation there is one more very important point that you should remember is when separation is doubled the force becomes one fourth when separation is double the force becomes one fourth i hope you have understood this lesson till here we have learned about contact and non contact force laws of motion and you keep learning keep studying 